The occurrence of these natural disasters can be tied to Earth's rising surface temperature, which has climbed 1.02 degrees Celsius since 1880. The enormous amount of human-produced greenhouse gases is the major cause of global warming. Greenhouse gases are a combination of carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide. Although methane and nitrous oxide account for a small proportion of total greenhouse gases, their global warming potential is much higher than that of carbon dioxide. Methane is estimated to have a GWP of 28 to 36 over 100 years. Nitrous oxide has a GWP of 265 to 298 times that of CO2 over a 100 year period. So, what can we do to slow down global warming? Let's start with a simple question. Which of these two categories has a larger carbon footprint? The food we eat, including hamburgers, cheese, and steamed dumplings, or transportation, including planes, shipping, trains, and cars? The answer is food. Believe it or not, globally, the agriculture sector is the second largest source of emissions after the energy sector. In China, it's third. China's agriculture sector accounts for 9% of Earth's farmland, and it supplies 20% of the world population's food demand. This video shows the path of carbon reduction and eventual realization of carbon neutrality in China's agriculture sector. The steamed dumplings ingredients, pork, green onions, and flour, illustrate the structure of the Chinese diet very well. Let's start with the meat. It's not news that meat is a major contributor to greenhouse gases. The footprint of beef is much higher than that of other types of meat. Pork is only ninth on the carbon emissions list, but its emission of methane and nitrous oxide is much higher. Unlike some countries that consume lots of beef, China is the world's largest producer and consumer of pork. Do you know how much methane and nitrous oxide is produced as a pig grows to maturity? The emission mainly comes from two areas in livestock breeding, intestinal fermentation and fecal management. In other words, when pigs are burping, farting, and pooping. Research shows that every growing fattening pig releases 4,304 kilograms of methane and 58 kilograms of nitrous oxide per year. That's the same amount of methane produced by 24 vehicles over the course of a year, or driving 270,420 miles. Statistics show that animal husbandry accounts for about 66% of total carbon dioxide emissions in the agriculture sector. 58% of the total methane emissions in the sector. Now let's take a look at the footprint of the other two ingredients. The carbon footprint of crops lie in three main areas. Emissions from the natural growing process of crops from the use of agricultural fertilizer and from agricultural waste, for example, straw. Rice and flour products are crucial for the diets in China and other Asian countries. Rice needs to grow in flooded soil, which releases methane into the atmosphere, about 40% of the total methane emission in China's agriculture sector. The nitrogen-rich fertilizer used on farmland releases about 75% of the total nitrous oxide emission in China's agriculture sector. Researchers found that intermittent irrigation and water level management are effective ways to reduce methane emission about 10 to 20 percent. We should use the water-based water-based filtration system to reduce the water intake. In the past few years, our water waste is increasing, and in the future, we should increase the water waste.